Um, okay, we have a few minutes left. Prospecting. Um, how many of you guys love to prospect? Good, that's good. Okay, so, and how many of you just don't like the idea of prospecting? Yeah. yeah, I totally, totally get that. <laughs> um, so prospecting, it, it can be an activity that you guys really don't like, but here's the thing, you have to do it if you're gonna be successful. The only way that you guys are gonna be successful is to do it. I just wanna say this, I love prospecting because I do it in the way that I love to do it. Good, and how do you do it? And that's, it's always getting groups of people together. That's always what it is. It's always, it's a happy hour, it's a database event, and so it celebrates a birthday, or we do housewarming parties for our buyers, that kind of stuff. That's awesome. But that's the only reason I love it, because it's the way, we do it the way we like to do it. That's perfect. Yeah. And, and, not cold. and then that's how you be successful, right? Um, because you love to do it, so you're gonna continue to do it, and you'll look for more opportunities to do it that way. There's always things that you can find to do, so you guys just need to define for yourself what do you like to do. Um, how, and what are you gonna say? So here's a big part of the thing with prospecting is you don't know what to say, right? You have a hard time picking up the phone to call somebody um, or send them a message because you're not quite sure what you need to say. So sphere is easy. That's why I always start with sphere, because as far as I'm concerned, there are people you know, there are people you like. Um, don't like but you know them <laughs> so again like you have a reason to reach out to them and that's where social media comes in and you can really you know find different things if you're at a loss of what to say or send them an update say hey so I know that you live in this neighborhood um, I just wanted to let you know I'm sure you've seen that there's five houses that have sold there in the last couple months you know property values are rising if you ever you know are just curious what your value is let me know I'm happy to run an analysis for you anytime I mean there's always things that you guys can reach out and say and do and send market reports or you know, how many of you guys, so after you've called a lead, maybe they came through as an online lead, and you've reached back out to them, and you got to them fast. We have a thing called speed to lead, and I mean, we're trying to get those people as quickly as possible. And you get right back, and you drop what you're doing, you make that phone call, and then you don't get them, you're like, okay. So then you send a text, you know, just to kind of follow up on that voicemail, in case they're not voicemail people, and then you send an email, and then there's nothing. And so then that next day, you try to follow up again, right? and there's nothing. And then it goes a few more days and there's nothing. So I had somebody um, at um, one of the, the companies that we work with say, well, you know what I do when that happens? I send a text and say, is this Bob? And like that literally was their text. It was like, is this Mary? Like whatever their name was, right? And I was like, you do? And they said, yeah, we do. And I said, well, does it work? And they're like, you'd be surprised how often it works. So I thought, okay. So, um, you do get some funny answers back sometimes, but <laughs> um, for the most part, people answer right away because now they're curious. Um, you know, is this so-and-so? Um, yes, um, yes it is. Okay, great. Well, I had a client, and this is so funny, she's turned out to be a great client, and she had not returned any of my communication. And I texted her, I said, is this great? And she texted her back, she goes, sure is. I said, hey, you know, this is Amy Cherry Taylor with Avery Hutch Realtors, you know, just wanted to reach back out to you in regards to your house. She's like, oh my God, thank you so much. She said, I've been so busy. Um, I just completely didn't have time to get back with you. And I made a listing appointment for the next day, all off of, is this Brie? And I mean, I was kind of doing it just to prove to myself it wouldn't work. <laughs> and it did. And so we talk about this in meetings sometimes, like, okay, if it's getting bad, when all else fails, is this Bob? You know? A lot of this is really just about that prospecting and if you feel like you're bothering people and you know how much prospecting you need to do to meet your goals. Um, but I'm really not kidding you when I tell you guys that I do have an hour a day that I do just about every single for five days a week. That's five hours, you know, a week. Um, I mean, that's a lot. That's a lot of people that I'm touching during that time. Or maybe I get stuck on the phone with somebody for a good 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Maybe that needed to happen, you know? Maybe I needed to reconnect, maybe, you know, now I'm top of mind again. And so, prospecting, you know, it can start with your sphere. I always feel like prospecting is easiest when you start with your sphere. And that's actually been a theme for us this year is sphere. Because I honestly feel like right now you can get so involved. This is kind of like you think about it when all the foreclosures were happening. And you had a lot of agents who became foreclosure agents. And they were working with the banks and they were doing these foreclosures. And I mean, they were making so much money during that time and they had listings everywhere. And I mean, you saw their signs everywhere. I remember ones down in my market that were like that. 
I don't see those agents around anymore. Well, then we have one. We have one that still does a lot of bank foreclosures. Everybody else <coughs> is either with a different company, has quit, doesn't have a business, or what have you. And why? Because the banks don't have relationships with you, you know? So it was, they, and, and sure, you could have done those. I mean, if I had done those, I probably would have been trying to make relationships with everybody in the neighborhood as I was putting those listings on, but you don't have time if you're doing as many as they were doing. So again, just make sure you understand how important prospecting is. Um, and I'm just gonna run through these real quick because we're pretty much done. And I was gonna go into more, but just, you know, these are ideas, guys. I mean, seriously, you guys know this. You've heard this from 10 million people, and I guess what, at the end of the day, I'm saying is there's no, like, crazy answer to prospecting. There's no big secret. I mean, it's, you either talk on the phone, and the reason why I said, and let's talk about this for a bit, is because nobody wants to talk on the phone anymore. It's so much easier to text. It's so much easier to email. It's so much easier to send a Facebook message. But in reality, if you talk on the phone, <laughs> you learn things and you hear things and that you wouldn't have otherwise in that conversation. Now, texting is great. I mean, it's especially if you don't have time to talk or if they can't, I mean, sometimes, and sometimes you don't know what to say, or I've had clients who I have lost touch with, and then you feel like really guilty to call them, you know, and you feel bad, like what are you gonna say, other than I'm calling you because I was thinking about you today, I feel so bad I haven't stayed in touch. And that's what I pretty much say. What else am I gonna say? You know, I just, I was thinking about you, I wanted to check in on you guys. So again, that value is super important. The handwritten notes, I mean, you guys all know how you feel when you get a note from Dave Hess. You all know. I mean, it's you get that note, and you're like, I can't believe you wrote that note. Like, that was so nice, right? Mostly because um, we get, we, we're glad he's still alive. <laughs> 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 so I did. <laughs> um, send a video. You know, we've all been talking in the office and trying to challenge each other with doing a little video of ourselves so that when somebody comes through and it's that Zillow contact, they all of a sudden get a text video back from you. Hi. So, you know, this is Amy. I just received your contact information via Zillow, and I understand you're looking for this house. I'd love to chat with you when you have time. Well, I'm, if I'm getting four, five, six, seven different people, like all of a sudden all the agents are calling and everything, and then all of a sudden I get this video, I know for me, I'd be like, oh, that's kind of cool. I'm going to set you apart, right? There's so many things you guys can do. Send a letter, go to lunch, go to coffee, deliver them again, post a message on Facebook. Let me tell you guys, go to lunch, go to coffee, deliver them again. And, repeat. Yeah. Yeah. and then when you get too busy Correct. to be able to go to lunch, go to coffee, and deliver them a gift, make events so that you can bring them to you. Because that's what we're doing now. Because I used to always go to lunch, go to coffee, deliver them a gift. And I've still been trying to schedule. I, I And it's hard because stuff comes up and then I can't always still go to lunch because now i got a closing that for me. And I feel like I feel awful because I feel like I'm canceling on somebody. And it can be hard. So then start thinking outside the box. Those events do not have to cost a whole lot. There's so many different opportunities and things to do. Um, and have sponsors. Create that vendor list. When I did that trampoline park, I called all of my vendors and said, hey guys, this is what I'm doing. Um, you know, we'll put, be putting tables up front. The funny thing was, when most people came through, they were like, oh hey, you know, there's my lender, there's my handyman, there's our, you know, they, they knew these people. So it helps them too to get repeat this. So <coughs> don't do what everyone else does. And, and there are ways to do other things than what everyone else does. Figure out how to be yourself because there is going to be something within that will that is going to resonate with people. Educate. That is one of the ways to stand out from your competition is to educate and to provide something of value. Because there's so many people who mean well, but they just do that generic check-in. Check-in with some knowledge. Make it till you make it. I've been doing that for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> One day you'll realize that you're starting to make it and you're not having to fake it as much, that you, you are getting what you're talking about. What do you do if you're new? We talked a little bit about that, and you can flip that if you're experienced. There's always a way to approach every situation and have an opportunity. <coughs> Where do you market yourself? Sphere, social media, email, text, newspaper. Newspaper. Like, who does newspaper anymore? Um, we do. And we're getting noted because we have open houses. I hear it from people all the time. They're seeing it in the newspaper. Well, I stopped doing newspaper years ago, and then I realized nobody else was doing it. So now, if we don't check in early, we can't get a page on the Saturday Real Estate and Classified section because everybody in Fredericksburg <laughs> is doing it, and people are coming to open houses from the newspaper Almost every time they come in, they say that they're coming from that in Brazil or Realtor.com or Facebook. You guys would be surprised. 
But that was something we started doing about a year, year and a half ago when nobody else was really doing it. You could have half a page of ads. There were a lot of builders, but there weren't regular realtors. And now you get stuck on the second page if you don't go early. Is that your local page? Right. You know, just you know, even if there's like a local, a local um, HOA newsletter. I mean, just some of the stuff that is just old school, but it actually still does work. You just need to be a part of them. Do you have showing time? Do you? I do. I like showing time. Yes, love showing time. Yep. And I always have my clients all you know copied in on it. Um, if it's vacant and they're gone, they still get copied in so they can start keeping track of their showings and they understand activity and we love showing time. Yeah.